Hello! If you are watching this, then you probably have heard about the three art schools that have closed in the Northeast, two of which happen to be my alma mater. I attended the Delaware College of Art and Design and the University of the Arts, both who sadly announced their closings within the last two weeks. Well, it's easy for me to maybe immediately and selfishly wonder, how does this affect my student loan repayments? I did feel compelled to speak about it because I recently answered a question about going Going to art school. This question is always so complicated because it's really dependent on a couple different factors like what school you go to, your attitude towards personal growth artistically, and the quality and personability of the professors that are supposed to be mentoring you. For both of these schools, all of those factors were just right for me, and I've always sung my praises about how much I enjoyed art school because it truly did help me, and it was really the professors that I met at both of these institutions institutions that made it such a wonderful experience and who helped me make my dream of working in animation a reality. And that's why this is such a huge loss to the art community, not only for current and prospective students, but also for the art community at large in the Northeast. These were special places where creativity was nurtured and had a chance to thrive. And to witness the loss of them, I feel like it's such a disservice to artists in the Northeast area who may have otherwise been priced out of expensive cities like New York City. So a little background on my education path. I knew from as young as like 10 years old that I wanted to go to school for art. I just didn't know how I was going to do it just yet. It's obviously very expensive and I am from Virginia so there weren't many dedicated art schools in Virginia. Everything was far, either on the west coast or further up north than I wanted to go initially. I remember for a while I settled with the idea of going to VCU. It was sort of the obvious choice. They had a kinetic imaging program that felt more like a catch-all for film and video, which I honestly wasn't like over the moon excited about doing, but it was an animation degree, technically speaking. And I did consider going for a while, but it was actually my parents that encouraged me to focus on going to a more narrowly focused school. So with their support, I went on a search for the perfect art school, so to speak. My search initially took me to Pratt because as a child, I really wanted to live in New York City. And there's obviously something very exciting about studying art in New York. But realistically, four years at Pratt was going to cost a fortune. The tuition costs were super daunting to me at the time. And I was just generally concerned about the debt that would burden me and my family in the long term. But then I discovered the Delaware College of Art and Design, which had a transfer agreement with Pratt and where I ultimately ended up beginning my art education. To put it super simply, DCAD was basically community college for art. You could go do two years, get your associate's degree, and then transfer to a bigger university. And the thing with DCAD was that the tuition was much more affordable than if you went to Pratt for four years consecutively. I also saw it as an alternative alternative to getting a bachelor's. I ultimately did end up getting my bachelor's, but initially when I went to DCAD, I was really satisfied with the thought of having an associate's degree in animation. So at 15, I was convinced this was going to be the school for me. I applied for their summer college program, received a scholarship, and attended as a pre-college student for that summer. Being immersed in that artistic environment for the week was just so awesome. It felt so right to me at the time. It was just nice to be surrounded by like-minded individuals and also really engaging professors that cared a lot about the craft of animation. And it was small and tight-knit. In high school, there's often talk of being lost in a sea of students in universities, but this just wasn't the case here at DCAD. Even in my own high school art programs, I felt really out of place as a kid. I had such a huge interest in cartoons and anime. And I'm sure a lot of artists can relate in having a teacher that might be more of a fine artist who doesn't quite appreciate cartoons and anime like that. I can't really say with confidence that my high school teachers were amazing to me as I was coming up. I never really felt like respected by my art teachers. So to come here to a university, to study the craft that I had been so passionate about and to be taken seriously, to be given close attention and mentorship, it meant a lot to me. And even after this summer program came to a close, when I actually attended the college, 
language, I still felt that same thing. My teachers cared about me. They cared about me developing my skills. They cared about me growing into my own style and not trying to mold me into anything else but myself. And again, because of the close-knit nature of the school, I really cultivated these really long-standing relationships with my professors. I mean, they have known me since I was 15 years old. I'm about to turn 26 at the end of this month. And every time I come to Philadelphia or I'm in the general Delaware, Philadelphia area, I make it a point to catch up with them. Their mentorship and guidance has really meant so much to me, even post-grad. After my time at DCAD, I transferred to UArts, where my dream of becoming a girl in the city studying art became a reality. But it wasn't initially my plan, actually. I got my associate's degree and I was ready to peace out, but my professor Tad, who was a strong presence in my life post-DCAD, strongly advocated for me to transfer and get my bachelor's degree. I applied during the absolute final week possible and got accepted with a scholarship. It was a great last minute decision. I really feel like I blossomed into the artist that I am today at this school. I had a really solid foundation from DCAD and then when I transferred to UArts, I really felt like I was just refining my style and finding my voice. I started to realize what I liked and what I didn't like. And overall, this was just a huge time of self-discovery for me, both artistically and personally. Personally. At this time, I was in my early 20s, and your early 20s can be really difficult as you're kind of navigating self-discovery in a way. And on top of all the growing pains that come with your early 20s, I was experiencing all of that during a global pandemic. I was definitely trying to persevere at the time and continue making art, but I definitely had my days. I will never forget how encouraging Chris McDonnell and Eric Van Horn were during my time at UR. They were always so wonderful just as people and as professors and I really felt pushed to be my best. My work got so much better with their feedback and I really evolved in so many ways artistically here. And on the topic of just absolutely going through it, I distinctly remember this one day in my senior thesis class. This is such a small thing but it just meant so much to me at the time. There were a lot of things going on in my life personally and artistically. I felt like at the time my my schoolwork was kind of just slipping through my fingers because I was just trying to balance too much. I was overwhelmed and I didn't want to go to class one day and I almost didn't but I peeled myself out of bed and I went to class late because late is better than not at all. And when I walked into my senior thesis class at the time, my professor Eric said, good to see you. Like we were starting to get worried. And this was such a one-off comment and he probably doesn't even remember making this comment, but I was just going through so much at that time. And for him to just say that, like as soon as I walked through the door, it made me feel, you know, so seen and valued. And I was just so grateful that I went to class that day and just tried to get it done, tried to, you know, keep on with my studies, tried to keep my head up. And I'm grateful for the professors that I had at UArts as well. I'm not sharing these heartfelt stories about my professors just to reminisce. I think they're important and they really highlight the importance of art school. The ethics of upper management and administrative services at art schools can be questionable. I won't even try to go to bat with you on that. We've witnessed the unfortunate fall of the Art Institute as an example. And I know not everyone can walk away from art school with happy memories like mine. Art school is just not for everyone. And the price tag alone is enough to have you second guessing. I also understand that we live in an age where an online course is a click away. It's a convenient way to get new skills. However, I do think there is an important to the communities fostered in spaces like art schools. And there is something very inherently human about that knowledge transfer from professor to student. The act of passing down wisdom and techniques through in-person interactions, I feel like also fosters that unique sense of community and belonging, not only from professor to student, but to student to student. I know because of my lack thereof of you know knowing other people in my high school that were interested in cartoons and anime a lot of the people that i would interact with were 
mainly coming from other online art communities, which, you know, online art communities is fine, but sometimes it's good to know somebody in real life, you know? And on the subject of just school and learning things from professors, to this day, I still am an advocate for taking a local community class because it's just, I think it's important. I think that exchange and mentorship from a seasoned artist to an aspiring one is really important. And if nothing else, the option to pursue that artistic curiosity should be something that's easily accessible, especially to those of us on the East Coast. I understand that these closures are in part due to external factors impacting the art industry and higher education as a whole, an uncertain job market with lower rates of post-grad success. Coupled with the higher cost of our education has definitely played a role in seeing these institutions close. In today's landscape, a college degree, whether in art or computer science, does not even guarantee stable employment or a career longevity. But in the grand scheme of things, art is an important aspect to our society. It challenges us to think critically, to learn about diverse people and cultures, and to broaden our perspectives on the world that we all share. My own journey highlighted the struggle to find a decent art program in this region. So to lose these institutions is all the more heartbreaking for me, especially an institution like DCAD, which I felt like made it its mission to make art education more affordable. With each school closure, a piece of the Northeast art community crumbles away and options become scarcer for families who don't have the budget to send their kids to prestigious schools like Pratt or SVA. There are passionate people mentoring the students that attended these schools and I really feel for them. I can't imagine finding out that you've lost your job from a freaking newspaper article before being notified by your own internal staff. And after the dust clears, it's not necessarily the institutions that we'll miss. It's the professors that made that experience an enjoyable one. An experience where you grew and learned so much about yourself, connected with other folks that enjoyed the same things that you did community. I understand if after hearing my perspective, you still feel indifferent to art schools and the professors that teach at them. And that's valid. I get it. I'm not ignorant to the fact that sometimes folks go to art school and they don't find that acceptance from their professors. There is that desire and pressure from them to mold to a certain style or to just simply not be taken seriously. And that's perfectly valid if that was your experience and I'm sorry that that happened. And I don't at all agree if you're in a teaching position that you should mold your students into what you feel like is going to be best for them or what you would like to see. However, if nothing else, I do encourage you to support your local art community, especially in our socio-political climate right now. The arts hold immense importance and are a worthy investment for the betterment of our society. Attend an exhibition, support local artists, go to a craft fair, take an art class. Your involvement can make a meaningful difference. Even if the traditional art school model leaves you a little bit skeptical, supporting artists and artistic spaces is an investment in your local community in the long run. If you want to get a head start to supporting your local neighborhood hood artists, consider joining my Patreon. I shared tons of exclusive art and insights into my career. I also host Q&A podcast sessions where I invite you to pick my brain about my artistic process and my career. So if that's something that would interest you, check out the link below in my description. And I hope I offered a more fresh perspective on the importance of art school and these communal art spaces. I'd like to encourage you to listen to the stories of current and prospective students and if there's anything you can do as far as supporting GoFundMes or offering any type of mutual aid, I really encourage you to do so. Overall, support local artists. That's all for this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys!